ah, editor Ken's going to be pissed at this. Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken and I'm on a journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can so I can become a fat guy no more. Well, first off, let me say thank you to all of you that have been watching my videos all along. I really appreciate it. And welcome to all you new people that have been showing up lately. Um, I, I, I thank you for coming and, and checking it out. Hopefully you're, uh, you're checking out some of my other videos as well. This has been quite the long journey and I've got a long ways to go, but I am looking forward to it and sharing videos with you along the way. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do. Uh, I would appreciate it. It is free. It uh, doesn't cost you anything. So if you just go ahead and hit it or as Peter McKinnon would say, smash it if you want to. So week number two is done. Week number two, um, yeah, it was a good week, I think. Um, overall, I feel it was a good week. Had some highs, had some lows, um, but I, uh, I really think it, it went pretty good um, as a whole. Um, there was a lot of frustrations along the way. We'll get into that here in a little bit, but there's no reason to beat around the bush, so let's just jump in first with treadmill tracking. Last week was a tough one for me. I actually missed my walk on May 8th. I'll talk about that a little bit more here in a little bit. Um, and for some reason, I didn't record much video for the others. Um, I don't know why. So here I'm going to show you just what I do have for the video. And then we'll flip through the cards there on the right, showing my actual walk times, my distance, calories burned, and so on the four that I do have data on. And I only have four, but I'll talk about that here in a little bit as well. So as I talked about in that uh, short little clip there, I only had four days that I actually got up on the treadmill. I missed the first day of this last week, May 8th, um, that Wednesday, because of uh, just being exhausted, absolutely exhausted. We went to the, the Thunder versus Dallas Mavericks game the night before. It did not even start until 8.30. We got down there long before that. Um, I have a video about that up on my other channel, uh, the one I share with my wife called Yo Ken Dog. If you haven't checked it out, I will link it below in the description. Um, but then, you know, they win. It's so exciting. You get home. You just, you, you got to unwind for a while. Maybe I should have gotten up on the treadmill at that point. Um, but all I could really think about was trying to get to bed. I didn't get to sleep until like four or five o'clock in the morning, not making excuses, but I am going to give myself a little bit of grace because at that point I had already had eight total walks in, um, so far. So even though that made me miss back-to-back -back days, um, I'm, I'm not worried about it too much because I did get eight total walks in prior to that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm not too worried. Sunday, I did not get up on my treadmill again. Um, this was a planned thing. Um, I actually went somewhere in town and did a timed walk. Um, instead of getting up on the treadmill, I wanted to see how I would do walking on actual ground versus a treadmill you know solid stationary ground versus moving tread <laughs> i was really curious how it went so i did that and i will have a video coming out probably later this week about that and i missed one other day yeah this one kind of irritated me for a couple reasons one because i'm no longer ahead on my total number of walks but um, on Tuesday, I got up and just simply could barely walk. My right knee, um, I don't know, I guess I slept wrong because I, I don't remember doing anything specifically. But yeah, I could hardly put any weight on it. So I pretty much hobbled around the house all day. At one point I was sitting on the couch and it was just like, ugh, I just want to get in there and get up on the treadmill and get my walk in. It's really weird for me to think that I'm that kind of person now, or at least I'm headed towards being that kind of person. That feels like the day is wasted if I don't at least get my 15 minute walk in. 
Um, that's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. But that's exactly, exactly what I was feeling on the 14th. Um, but I ain't going to take a chance of messing my knee up any further. So I went ahead and skipped that one and I'll just have to make it up somewhere down the line. So I'm sure some of you have noticed that I hold on a lot when I'm on the treadmill. You know, it's actually kind of twofold, really. Um, one is that um, it gives me heart rate data when I hold on to the middle bars there. Um, the other is for balance. So I'm not really white knuckling it, you know, per se, um, to just like, oh my God, I can't keep up with this. You know, um, it's more of just to keep my balance. That's why I'll switch from it to the bars on the side from time to time. And I'm basically just putting my hands on there just enough to hold balance. Um, and I try from time to time to, to even let go of that. Um, but whatever's going on with my head here, my ears, it's, um, it, it's pretty bad at times, especially the more that I'm up on the treadmill. And so I uh, have already fallen once, as I've shown you, and I don't want to do that again. So I have no problem holding on. That's something that'll, that'll go away over time. But I know, as some people have commented, that it's not giving me the full workout and I'm perfectly fine with that right now. Speaking of my ears, I uh, guess I failed to tell you about my doctor's appointment last week. Uh, so much going on last week that I absolutely just spaced it. I did mention it in a couple comments, but in case you haven't seen that, um, I went into the specialist, finally. It took like six or seven weeks to get into him, and I saw him. And basically, they did a couple things. They did a hearing test, you know, where they put different things around and even in your ears and just different things make you repeat words, you know. You'll hear something and you have to be like, padlock, elephant, TV, you know. It sounds like a genius test to me. Um, and so, I did it. And then the doctor came in and he looked in both ears and he said, this one isn't too bad, uh, my left ear compared to the right one and i could tell even just sitting here this one seems almost free and clear this one just feels like you know it's like uh, um, i don't know how to describe it really not plugged but getting there he said with this ear there was lots and lots i can't remember how he put it massive i think is the word he used massive amounts of of scarring in there um, from many 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 he used the word many three times many 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 um, ear infections he could tell just the way it's been built up and you betcha i lived a good portion of my younger life um, laying with my head onto a heating pad or some kind of heating source um, because i had ear infection after ear infection after ear infection all my life as i've mentioned in other videos i've had hearing problems since i was probably about five um, my mom, when she was still alive, used to tell the story about how um, she cried one time. I was walking up the street when we lived in the Squally Valley, Olympia, Washington. I was walking up our street. We lived on a, on a cul-de-sac, you know, so we were down quite a ways. And I was walking up the street and she was on the front porch yelling at me, come home, come home, you know, and, and I didn't hear her. But she thought I was just simply ignoring her. So she came down there, got me, and then got me back to the house. And, you know, this was the 70s. She lit me up, man. <laughs> I mean, bad. I deserved it for what she thought. But then later when she found out that it was because I simply couldn't hear her, that's when it hit her and, and she started crying. And honestly, I don't know that she ever, ever whooped me again. Um, I got them. Oh, man. You know, I'm from that generation. I definitely got them. I can still hear even as bad as my hearing is, I could still hear um, the leather belt going through the loops uh, of my dad's pants, you know, as he's ripping that belt off to, 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 to whoop me. But um, I don't know what got me off on that, but just weird, weird memories. Um, but yes, my hearing has been bad since I was really young. So um, it didn't really surprise me what he told me. And so he said there's a couple things he wants to do, but first off, we have to get an MRI done to see what's going on in there, especially on this side. And then whatever it tells us will tell us where we're going on our next step. If there's a lot of fluid behind the ear, which I personally think there is, um, we're gonna have to get that drained via putting tubes in. And then once that's fine, 
then we go on to this other test. If there is no fluid, then we can go straight to that other test. So it sounds like this is a several month ordeal going to happen here because um, my test for that MRI is not until June 21st. So as of the recording of this video, we are still over five weeks away. So yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, that just means I have to be careful whenever I do a walk. Just do whatever I can. Take my medicine, take everything that, uh, that the doctor has given me in my arsenal to try to combat this um, and just, uh, just hold on if I have to when I'm up on the treadmill to give myself that balance that I need. And I'm not worried about that at all because I truly believe once we get this taken care of, um, that'll be much better and I'll get much better workouts at that point. But until then, yeah, I just don't, don't care. I'm gonna do what I need to do to get to where I wanna be. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers. First off, we can see that I averaged 1,246 calories. Um, I'm gonna be honest, that was much, much lower at the beginning of the week. Um, by Friday, um, I was barely at 1,000. Um, it was a struggle. Um, Saturday, I started picking that up, and I finally got up to that point where I'm still not at the 1,300 where I wanna be, but I got pretty doggone close, especially compared to last week. When we take a deeper dive into the numbers, we could see that my protein came in at 78 grams a day on average. My fiber came in at 42. The fiber is based off of 50 grams a day that I wanted, but I, I actually talked to my doc and she said that I should lower that. I, I think I mentioned that in my last video um, that I was gonna talk to her and, and see. So she told me I should drop it back to 40, which I'm still okay with. Um, it's still an increase from 35 to 40, um, but she's like, there's no real reason to be that high if you happen to eat that much fiber. Great, but not to worry about forcing yourself to make sure you get that much. So I did lower it down to 40 um, starting this next week. I did the same thing to my potassium, and I'll mention that here momentarily. My sodium average came in a little better than last week. I'm at 1305 with a 1300 target. Um, that's one of the things too that I'm gonna lower. I'm actually dropping it back to 1200. Um, I have a feeling that 13 might be just a little too much for me and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. And my potassium came in at 4,696 milligrams per day. Um, that's on a 4,500 target and that we also decided to drop back when I talked to my doc. She's like, you know, 4,000 should be fine. You're probably going to go over that anyways, but just make sure you're getting at least 4,000 milligrams per day. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so those changes I'm making going forward starting in week three, um, and we'll see next week how I did on that. So what did that do for me on the scale? Well, let me first say that I did not take a shot this last week. Um, I had taken one the end of April and then that Friday, the next Friday, which was like the 3rd of May, uh, I took those back to back as I talked about in my last video. That's what really threw me for a loop. Um, I mean, serious appetite suppression, dizziness, constipation, all of that. I mean, it was, it was rough there for a couple days, um, but I did that and I just didn't feel like I needed to take it again. And so I didn't, I went ahead and skipped it, which I'd like to get on in at least every two week um, pattern here going again. So we'll see what next week does for me. Um, but I didn't take a shot. And so that's one thing to keep in mind. And then that Friday, so a couple days after my last weigh-in, I went ahead and got on the scale because I was excited. You know, I had that big drop and I was really curious what was happening. So I got on the scale and it told me I was up eight pounds, up eight pounds in two days, two days. So I started looking at my numbers and stuff. Um, one thing I realized is that I was only eating about 1,100 calories and that my sodium was just a little over 1,300 milligrams. So I got frustrated, but I knew, I mean, there's no way that that could be fat. It had to be fluid. So I, I felt that maybe I had a couple things working against me there, you know, meaning not enough calories and then too much sodium. Um, so I decided to up my calories no matter what it took to get to that point. 
Um, and then I would also lower my sodium some and try to make sure that I come in for the week close to that 1300 milligram mark. Um, so that's what I did. As I showed you, I came in at 1305 milligrams of sodium and like 1246 calories. Um, and sure enough, over the next few days, that started dropping to when I got on the scale for this official weigh-in for this week, I was down two pounds. Two more pounds. Yep. So I lost those eight plus another 10. So I was down two pounds officially for the week. That puts me down now for the first two weeks of May, a total of nine pounds, um, which puts me at a total weight loss of 211 pounds, 176 on Manjaro. Um, yeah, I mentioned in the last video that I wanted to get over that 210 pound mark. I did it. Yeah, I got it this week. So um, at 211 pounds, you know, when I look at it on the screen right down here, you know, you see it? That just looks so weird to me. I can't believe that I've actually lost that much weight. Um, it's frightening, you know. Um, I've got friends that text me when I tell them how much I've lost. And like, man, you lost a whole me. Yeah, well, it's sad that I had that much on me, um, but that's life. And now I get to celebrate losing that. And I'm excited, 211 pounds lost so far. To me, that's just fantastic. But I got a ways to go. Um, I don't know how much further, but I got a ways to go. Again, here in a few days, I'll have um, another, another shot due. Um, so we'll take it and then we'll see how my body reacts to it, you know, every other week. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, I'm just excited to see that I've actually gotten back on that losing train. Um, down nine pounds now in two weeks. I can't complain about that. I know it's going to slow down, um, but whatever I can lose, I can lose. And I'm just excited about that. Again, that's why I don't set goals. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, I talk about, uh, I talk about milestones. Um, I make sure that I don't set goals because to me, goals are just a way to set yourself up for failure. You know, when you say I have to lose X amount of weight by this day, and if you don't get there, it's like, well, screw this, you know, might as well just go to Taco Bell. Oh man, I used to love Taco Bell. I couldn't, uh, couldn't live without it, it seemed like. I don't care what I was doing. If I was running errands, gotta go buy Taco Bell first, right? Grab a couple tacos and then go do what I needed to do. Um, but it's been quite a while since I've been to Taco Bell and I'm actually kind of proud of that. So. Let's, uh, let's ask Siri how many days it's been. I know the day for certain, August 31st, because that was the day that I saw my doc and she told me about Manjaro. Um, so I decided after that appointment, let's grab some Taco Bell and then the next day we'll start out good, which it ended up being the day after that, September 2nd. Um, I took my first shot, but August 31st, 2022 is the last day that I ever went to Taco Bell. So let's ask Siri how many days ago August 31st, 2022 was. How many days ago was August 31st, 2022? It was 623 days ago. 623 days Taco Bell free. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that, honestly. And I think that's a big reason why I've had the success that I have had because I just don't play those games like that anymore like I used to do. Um, I went absolutely cold turkey on Taco Bell. Um, I know it's quick, it's easy, but man, it's just full of crap that my body doesn't need. And so I'm very thankful that I've done that. Now there are other places that I do like to go, um, places like Torchies where you can get something just a little bit healthier. Um, of course, I love my Jimmy John sandwiches from time to time. But it's been a while since I've had those as well. So this journey is all about making the changes and working with the medicine, not against it. And that's a big one that I made and I'm proud of that. So, all right, that's enough, uh, enough for this video. I'm sure you're probably tired of sitting here listening to me if you've even made it this far. If you have and you haven't already, please hit that like button for me. And if you haven't hit subscribe already, please do that as well. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on my journey to become a fat guy no more, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. Let's start that all over, that whole segment all over again from hands even. Ah, editor Ken's going to be pissed at this. Um, I had done those two back to back, so the end of April, the 3rd of February. Oops, February? Where the hell did that come from? 
So the, the end, <laughs> I got to cut that out. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that came from. February. <laughs>